Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Sun, and we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with an Air sign, another Gemini, another Libra, or another Aquarius. So I think the King of Swords in the spread is you. Air sign, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And you're most likely dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That's uh, King of Pentacles for you. If it's not an Earth sign, then this person is uh, very good with their finances. This person could be working for a financial institution like a bank, it could be uh, somebody who is a financial advisor or a loan officer, something along those lines. So um, I can interpret this spread many different ways. So you're definitely dealing with this uh, King of Pentacles and uh, either this King of Pentacles is trying to uh, lie to you or this person is trying to lure you into some shady deal or this person is up to no good. They're trying to take advantage of you, they're trying to uh, uh, lie to you, get your money, or this person could be your competitor when it comes to love matters. Right? If you are already seeing somebody or if you have uh, somebody you want to start a relationship with or ask out on a date, then this King of Pentacles could be your competitor. Because uh, the Seven of Swords is the card of a cheater, this is a card of somebody who is sneaking around, or this is a card of somebody who is up to no good. But I think the Ten of Swords that follows is the uh, positive card in this case. Ten of Swords is all about some kind of an abrupt ending. So perhaps you're going to see right through this person, and uh, you're going to stop this person in their uh, tracks so to speak, if they're trying to pull on over you, if they're trying to steal your money, or if they, are, if they are a competitor, then that situation is coming to an end, and uh, I think you're gonna come on top as the winner with the Sun card. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck, right? And this is actually the outcome, I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be, and the Sun came out. Like I said, it's the happiest card in the deck, and the sun could also symbolize clarity. So you are going to see right through this person and you're going to be able to prevent whatever shit they're about to pull on you. Um, another way to interpret this spread is that uh, the king of pentacles will actually help you out. If somebody is trying to uh, lie to you, if somebody is trying to uh, steal your money, then this King of Pentacles, if, especially if this is a financial advisor, they'll be able to show you how this is not going to work out for you. So um, I know this is a controversial spread. Whatever the case, you will be happy at the end. You know, justice is going to be on your side with the Sun card, but don't take the spread for granted. And if you are dealing with this King of Pentacles, then if this is, um, uh, you got to, basically, you got to look at your situation, right? And uh, w watch for the red flags. Uh, you can always leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out. But be careful, watch out over this weekend. Gemini, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Two of Swords clarified by the Three of Swords, we have the King of Wands, then we have uh, the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and uh, we have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So I think the King of Wands is either a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius you're dealing with, or Gemini, you are the one embracing the energy of the King of Wands. Um, and let me explain. We have the Two of Wands here on the bottom of the deck, right? Two of Wands is a choice. And we also have the Two of Swords right there to the left. This card is also about a choice or this is about some kind of a decision you'll have to make. So the main idea here is uh, 
you will be facing some kind of a dilemma over the weekend. Should I start something? Should I not start something? Should I go this way? Should I uh, uh, accept this offer or should I accept another offer? But I think um, this is all about preventing something from happening. I think you will be able to make the right choice that will prevent you from a, a heartbreak or a devastation in the future. So you'll need to use your brain to your full capacity, Gemini, and I know you're capable of that. You're a very smart people. Um, all right, so uh, let's take a closer look. We've got the two of swords right there to the left, right? And uh, it's clarified by the three of swords. So this Two of Swords is a card of a choice, or this Two of Swords is about you being closed off, and like I said, you are preventing something from happening. And it's clarified by the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of a breakup, a card of a devastation, a card of a heartache. And this whole spread could, by the way, be about love, or it could be about finances. Right, so the Ten of Swords, the first card on the left, this is you ending something because you don't want to get hurt in the future with the two of swords clarified by the three of swords and all of this has to do with uh, either this king of wands with the who is either an air and fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius or like I said you could be assuming the energy of this king of wands you're becoming more active more proactive and uh, you're taking this preemptive measure to prevent something to prevent this devastation from happening in the future if you have to choose between two different people you're choosing the right one and uh, you are cutting out the wrong one if you have to choose between two different uh, jobs you're able you're able to see into the future and uh, select the one that will be more beneficial to you so, like I said, use your brain this weekend and make sure you choose the right option. And uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. This is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those two cards came out. So, yeah, looks like you will make the right decision. You will make the right choice because the Ten of Pentacles, um, it could be about money, finances, and the Wheel of Fortune is you starting a new cycle or you're moving forward with the right decision, with the right choice. Or if this is about love, then uh, whoever you decide to go with could potentially lead to a committed relationship. It could lead to abundance with this person or even marriage at some point down the road. And the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, it's all about starting a new cycle with this person. Alright, just to sum up for the fifth time, you will have a choice. Use your brain, Gemini, and make sure you select the right choice or make the right decision. And uh, if you do, and uh, looks like you will, it will help you prevent a devastation in the future. But if, at the same time, if you go with the right person or the right uh, uh, choice, then it will be very beneficial and abundant for you in the future. Libra, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So I think this weekend, Libra, you'll have to make a choice between two different people or two different uh, options if it's about work business, work, business, or finances. Right, so we do have two Knights here, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is most likely an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And the Knight of Cups is most likely a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So we have the Six of Pentacles right there in the middle. And uh, in this case, I think the Six of Pentacles, you trying to decide between two different people. That is you standing in the middle, and there is two other suitors on your side, see? And eventually you will be turning your head towards one of them, and uh, that's the one you're going to go with. I don't know which one of those two you're going to decide to go with. Uh, the Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I think this is just, uh, it confirms the... Uh, the choice you'll have. The Wheel of Fortune is all about starting a new cycle. So yeah, that's exactly what you're going to be deciding. 
whom are you going to start this new cycle with out of those two people? And uh, the Ace of Swords, the first card on the left, this is the moment of truth, this is the decision, this is it. You will have to um, go with one person and uh, cut out the other one, cut the, the second person out of your life. Alright, so that's what I see here. Hopefully you'll make the right decision, the wise, wise decision. Um, Libras are notorious for, you know, putting all pros and cons on your little scale. And by the way, if you look closer at the uh, Six of Pentacles, I know you can barely see it, but uh, that person in the middle is also holding up the scales. So that is definitely you, Libra, losing your little scale, <laughs> putting pros and cons on one scale, and for one person and you're doing the same for another person, right? So make the right decision, Libra, good luck. Aquarius, we have the King of Cups, we have the Hierophant, we have the Three of Wands, then we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Shine, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Air Sign, Gemini Libra or Aquarius. So uh, the hangman on the bottom of the deck, it's talking about some kind of a situation that is hanging in the air, something was, or someone was put on pause, somebody took a break, or there's just some kind of a situation that is uh, undecided at this point, or right before the weekend. And uh, you're most likely dealing with this king of cups, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. This person is either a water sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces, or the King of Cups is just simply your love interest. <clears throat> and uh, what's on the line here is that we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is either a Taurus, but most likely the Hierophant is all about something traditional. In this case, a committed relationship or a relationship, right? So um, there is the whole situation in the spread is regarding that committed relationship and somebody is trying to make a decision about it with the three of wands and actually the three of wands is the card to me personally at least when a decision has been made and uh, somebody is about to start uh, taking action in regards to that decision somebody could come up with the plan and now they're putting that plan into action and we do see a whole lot of action that follows the three of wands. We have the knight of swords clarified by the two of cups and the ace of pentacles. This is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those three cards showed up. So the knight of swords is either uh, um, an air sign you're dealing with or this is the energy. <clears throat> right? So there was a long pause. <laughs> Somebody took their time with the hangman and the 301. Somebody was really thinking really hard about this. It could have been you, Aquarius, or it could have been your love interest. But then, once they made up your mind, or once you make up your mind, there will be a very quick and decisive action with the Knight of Swords. Somebody is going to come in, or you're going to come in and uh, express your love, express your desire, or or they will, with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, right? The Two of Cups is the soulmate or unconditional love. To me personally, the Two of Cups is all about uh, when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. And the Ace of Pentacles is like a f is like the final s stamp of approval, I guess. <laughs> if you want more than love with the Two of Cups. Then there's also the Ace of Pentacles on top of this um, cake as a cherry. The Ace of Pentacles is the golden opportunity. So that's what's going to be on the line here together with the Hierophant, which is a committed relationship. Right? I don't know if the swift action will be taken over the weekend. Perhaps over this weekend somebody is going to be formulating the strategy with the 301s and the Hangman. However, once that decision is made, there will be a very fast moving forward. Somebody will want to sweep the other person off their feet with the Knight of Swords, or they would just want to seal the deal as quickly as possible. 
But all of this is very positive with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, there is love here and the feelings are definitely mutual. And with the Ace of Pentacles, the future could be very, very bright with, between you and this person. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.